Omaha's weather leader, Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. Ranby Factor time this evening gets a Ranby Factor of five tolerable. Even though we're going to get some light rain to move into the Omaha Metro, it looks to me like the worst of the storms will be just off to the west of us. This is where we have the severe thunderstorm watch until 10. These pink shaded counties. Here's live Super Doppler 7 radar. A particularly nasty storm just about entering Madison County near and just west of Norfolk. Here's our computer model. Now through 7. Some rain into northeast Nebraska, still in the 80s in the Omaha Metro, 8 o'clock. Possibly some sprinkles and light showers into Omaha. Stronger storms just to the west, moving southward. Perhaps they get to Lincoln, probably stay just west of Omaha. That's 10 o'clock, and after that, it's done. Later on tonight, the clouds move out and temperatures drop back into the 60s, cooling off a little bit by tomorrow morning. All right, if you've been outside the last hour, just have a window looking north. It looks a little like something's happening here. Darker clouds. It's our camera at the Charles Schwab building in Old Mill looking northwest. Those are the thunderstorms coming in, but they are weakening as they move toward Omaha. 87 degrees here. Same in Lincoln, 85 in Fremont, 78 now in Norfolk, where Got some rain moving in and a north wind blowing there. Everybody else has a south and southwest breeze. Here's live Super Doppler 7 radar. You can see the edge of the showers into Washington County. This is not severe weather, not a lot of wind with it, but some sprinkles. But these are stronger storms and a new severe thunderstorm warning now until 7 o'clock. Gets a part of Stanton County, also northwest Colfax County and a part of Platte County as well as Madison County. It's this thunderstorm dropping into Norfolk right now. Some potential for hail right there, just to the west of Norfolk around Battle Creek. And the radar signature doesn't show a lot of rotation, kind of weak rotation there. So it looks like it's going to be maybe wind and a little bit of hail with that dropping southeastward. And again, kind of looks like this is the main activity out here. Norfolk, Columbus, our western county is going to get into this more than western Iowa or the Omaha Metro. Big area, severe weather watches, another one up into Wisconsin and Michigan, all along this cold front. But the idea that the storms cluster and drop southward into Kansas with time. Tomorrow, that front kind of stalls in the area, uh, rain a little farther north. And then tomorrow night, a bigger upper level disturbance could give us a big line of showers and thunderstorms, an overnight storm chance with wind, heavy rain. And then lingering showers dropping southward and re reigniting into thunderstorms across Missouri during the day Wednesday. 65 the low tonight. Impact weather, the chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially out to the northwest of us, but a little bit of rain into the Omaha metro here this evening. Generally dry day, a chance we could get something by 5 o'clock, but more likely it's overnight tomorrow night. Real strong and possibly severe storms. 85 Wednesday, any rain exits early on Wednesday, and then another overnight storm chance seems likely for Thursday night. Front in the area on Friday with a storm chance, and then a little bit more chance on Sunday and Monday. We need the rain, though. We're trying to catch up here. We are. We hope we do. <laughs> Without.